Right, so this says use 50 grams of this four deciliters of whatever vegan milk you want and four grams of sugar. Um, I don't have one of those things to measure things, so I'm just gonna guess. Welcome to another edition of Laura and Tambay try out the vegan dobos. This is now the third edition. If you haven't seen the previous two amazing videos, make sure to check them out. It's a playlist up there somewhere or link below this video. I don't even know what's in here. Wow. All right, so first up we have, ooh, I think I know what this is. So it says, Kidig Nyala. It says, um, Paleo and Vegan. What is Paleo? That's I don't know. And it says, oh, it's in Slovakian and Romanian. And it's in British. Whoop whoop. Hazelnut spread with cacao with 60% hazelnut. Yeah. Damn, why did yeah. I have that on my bread earlier? Yeah, boy. Now you oh tell me. Oh my god. It smells so wow. hazelnutty. <laughs> mm. Smells really good. Mmm. Okay. Oh, it's solid. Oh, I'm not, I was not expecting that. It's like, it's much harder than um, Nutella. It's more like a um, mm. solid. It's good. It's nice. This would work really well on bread. Also, mm. there's no plastic in the mm. packaging, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, and that's true. I wish I had that for lunch today. Mm. <laughs> I will have it for lunch tomorrow. It's really solid. I'm surprised by the consistency of it. You think it's as good as Nutella? I don't know yet. I have to try it with toast. But, I mean, I, it already tastes kind of sweet but not as sweet and not as artificial so yeah. it has quite a, like a natural sweetness to it which uh, is a great plus. <coughs> mm, oh it smells interesting it smells savory like, yeah it smells like, like pizza yeah probably that oregano again oh yeah. yeah all right mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Nice. But it's like pizza. It looks like pizza, yeah. As usual, I think I prefer it with something. Like, I'm never that much of a fan of crackers because they're quite dry, but these are good. Mm. I really like the texture. It feels like nutty. Mm. Oh, Kajma. Cool. All right, next up we have pepper. Mm. Yeah. Next up we have canal canalka. Pepperonetta. This is very pretty. I really like the packaging. And I'm guessing it's some kind of like peppery. Oh, it's paper. Paper, not plastic, yeah. Good. Mm hmm. Mmm, my god, it smells amazing. Oh, wow. Mm. It's about from here, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm. Sorry, I just <laughs> went right ahead and had it. It does, tastes like yeah, pepper. It tastes like it looks, hopefully. Great color. Mm, great taste. Mm, tastes really, really. Wow, strong taste, but like good, crackers. good strong. Mm, good strong. Yes. Very nice. Try it with the crackers. Very nice taste. Actually, I can see it's working with the crackers very well. Mm. Peppers. Mmm. Those two together, are like, perfect. Mm, I think this is my favorite so far. Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh, next up we have this amazing salted caramel bar. Well, this says it's gluten-free, dairy-free, wheat-free, and peanut-free and vegan. So I guess that's all that's left. Sugar and oh, here yeah, UK ingredients: dates, soy, soy protein, oil, rice protein, pea protein, pea, uh, gluten-free oats, and more. All right, let's dig in. Ooh, ooh! Oh, wow, it looks nice. Wow, it smells real good. Mmm. Do we have one of these before? Mmm. Mm. It is really good. It's like, it's really dense mm. and it's really like, you can play with it. Mmm. You'll play with your food kids. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Not too sweet. It's so soft and yeah. Wow. Normally I'm not a fan of those kind of bars because I always find them really dry. That is not dry, that is perfect. I could really like have that on a day trip or like when you're at the airport on a plane. No wonder you like Whenever. it because it's manufactured in the UK. Yeah, boy. Only thing we don't like is this plastic wrapper, but no, boy. <laughs> Apart from that, it actually does taste amazing. Yeah, I really like that. Wow, hot chocolate. Hmm. 
22% protein. Wow. So yeah. next time someone asks, I don't, the only thing I would say, I do not think it tastes like salt or caramel. I can taste no. it. No. And I feel like it tastes like peanuts. Okay. All right. That's true. Next up we have free bread. Um, so basically this is the, I think this is the kind of basics of bread and you just add water and put it in the oven. So we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> Mainly because we don't have an oven. Mainly because we don't have an oven. I really like the packaging. I like how it's like, um, you know, I mean there's a little bit of plastic almost here. Almost plastic free. Almost plastic so free. So close. They could have totally put this in a paper bag without that. Yeah. Uh, it's gluten free, which is awesome. I know a lot of people are like not into gluten. Ah, and it says Kenya, 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 which means bread. Next up we have deodorant. If you remember the last vegan dobbers, we had a soap in it and I was really excited about that. And I've been using it ever since and it smells <laughs> lush. It that's really, true. It smells like China. Yeah, that's smells, really true. It smells amazing. That's the, actually the best smelling soap I've ever yeah, experienced. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm excited to try another kind of non-food product. This is deodorant. Um, <coughs> I like that it's not liquidy because that means we can take it on the airplane without worrying about liquids. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, lemony, citrony. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it oh, smells wow. really, really good. Okay, so I think you like get water. Wait, my friend, I, we actually asked our friend Henrik to translate this one for us because <laughs> I didn't want to get it wrong. And he said you get like a bit. He said you get like a pea-sized amount and then you just rub it in your armpits. So um, if you're vegan, as a woman, you do not have to have hairy armpits. I have two vegan friends that live in, well I have a few vegan friends that live in Budapest. One of them doesn't shave her armpits, the other one does. The reason I don't shave my armpits is because I saw this stupid um, advert the other day of this woman getting her armpits lasered and she's wearing like goggles to protect her <laughs> eyes from the lasers. And I was just like, that's so stupid. If you need something to protect your eyes and you're putting it in your armpit, why not just not shave your armpits? Next up, we have some good old Hachma. Good old Hachma jam. So I'm gonna open this up. Ooh, easy to open. Oh, this smells meaty. Oh my god, it does. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it says it's vegan on the side. Mmm, oh, it's good. Yeah, mm. wow. Onion jam. Always a treat. Oh, wow, yeah, it's almost a little sweet. Yeah. Mmm, it's not it's that purple. Not that savory. Purple onion. Yeah, mm. but good. Really, would be really good on toast or, yeah, with more toast or in a sandwich. Oh my god, I really like that. I think that's my favorite. That is really good actually. Now I can't decide between this and the uh, pepperoni stuff. Mm -hmm. It's both mm -hmm. really good. Okay, last but not least, we have vanilla pudding. Woohoo! What I really like about this is there's no plastic. I don't think this is this plastic. No, paper. All paper, so I think it's all paper, which is great. So, great start, well done. Uh, this goes to show that you don't need plastic. And I wish more, more brands should use a packaging like this because it's so. Cool. Let's make it. Let's go. Whoosh. All right, so this says use 50 grams of this, four deciliters of whatever vegan milk you want, and 40 grams of sugar. Um, I don't have one of those things to measure things, so I'm just gonna guess. It's just the key to good cooking. This is some oat milk I made earlier. Ooh, well, look at it, it's going all like pretty me. Oh my god, it's like pudding. Who knew? Mmm, tastes like vanilla porridge. Mm -hmm. I think it would taste better with banana in it. Everything tastes better with banana. I don't think it tastes bad, it's just I think I just didn't follow the instructions at all. Soy milk. Cooking with Laura. <laughs> the worst show in the world. <laughs> you thought traveling weasels was bad. <laughs> Wait until you see this. I know, some people are like, oh, you should do a cooking, cook some Hungarian food. And I'm like, I'm not good at cooking. Guess not. I mean, I am, but it's not good at cooking. <laughs> from us for today we really hope you enjoyed that please make sure to check out vegan dobos the links are all below and yeah we hope you enjoyed watching see ya stock <laughs>